Well, hello. Hello, it's Tom, and I am back with another video featuring the single cross pedal, which I make, and the Barber Direct Drive, which I definitely don't make, uh, and a BBE Bench Press Vintage Compressor, which I also don't make, and, of course, an LS2 as the mixer, <laughs> which I don't make. And so today, I've been having some fun. It took me a while to figure out the bench press. It's a, uh, well, let me just tell you what the setup is here first, really quick. Uh, got the Fender Dimension bass with flats, which are rapidly going dead, which is getting harder and harder to demonstrate stuff with. The uh, uh, bench press is getting the low signal. It's a compressor, of course. And I'm saying the highest of the direct drive, which is a sort of super amazingly awesome sounding uh, tube screamer-ish type of pedal overdrive thingy. Um, and it is pretty great. It's a non-inverting pedal. The bench press is an inverting pedal, surprisingly. Uh, so it took a while to figure this out. So let me just uh, I'll just show you what we got here. Obviously the bass. Sounds like a bass. To turn up the treble a little bit just to get that treble out of these dying strings. Now, the direct drive crossed over. It's just getting the treble. One lovely thing I can speak about the Barbers is they do fun stuff with low frequencies if you feed them bass. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just a sweet pedal. you're using a compression for your clean blend you're as probably going to be using enough overdrive that it's going to give that a sustained um, an extended sustain as well so let's just go ahead and go heavy on the direct drive because it sounds good like that don't make the fizz too much that could be nice if you're driving a tube rig or something but we're not here i'm just going into the uh, radial bass bone pretty much clean completely clean. And so turn on the bench press and I lose your mids instantly because it's an inverting pedal. We'll just flip that. And I'm just going to go ahead and turn off the treble for a minute so you can hear what the bench press is doing. It uh, has an attack control which really is the attack time. It seems to sound pretty good in the middle somewhere anyway. This is a pedal I think you could actually use on bass by itself. Um, the threshold is uh, at zero, there's no compression, and it moves the threshold uh, down until it starts to compress you and adds makeup gain at the same time. So at 10, you've got a whole lot of compression. In fact, probably too much because uh, I was listening to this for a bit and saying, it's okay if I go to the direct drive and. Let's give it some mid-range so we'll do something fun. Here we go. All right, not that much sustain. So, what's happened to the bass here? Uh, it's actually sustaining pretty well because it's a bass. If you have round wounds, this will be more of an issue, right? And let's say we want a little sustain here. So we want it to sing for a minute and then... giving us some boost here. Yeah, that seems about right. So you have sort of a
pick out here. It just seemed right for the the sort of sustainy, processed kind of sound going here. Some fresh strings, this, this really work. All right, well, um, I was pretty much all that setup's gonna do for you. Um, so you could put more fun things after the direct drive. Or... Yeah, anyway, that's pretty much that. Bye. <laughs>